Okay, and welcome to Creating 3x3 Systems, or, as I'd like y'all to understand, our first actual Algebra 2 lesson. So, example one, Andrea sells photographs at art fairs. She prices the photos according to the size. Small photos, oh, this is important, small photos cost $5. Let me switch this up. Small photos cost $5, medium photos cost 12 and large photos cost 38 Now guys, right there, that is already telling us the beginnings of an equation. So I want you all to notice, small photos cost $5. Well, why don't we go ahead and write 5S? Plus, medium photos cost $12. So let's go ahead and write plus 12M. Plus, large photos cost 38 Plus 38L is equal to, in fact, I just want your eyes to roam through this problem and look, we have dollars, 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 and where's the next place that you see dollars? Well, 600. And so of course this will equal 600. Okay, so we have one equation. Now notice in a three by three system, we will always need three equations. So let's continue. She usually sells as many large photos as, wait a second, let's all circle this word as, as many large photos as small and medium photos. And I'm going to switch colors here just because we have another key word, the word and. Okay, so what does the word as mean? Well, as is the past tense of is, and so that means equal, and and is always plus. So what are we really saying? We're saying that our number of large photos is equal to, oh, you know what, let me go ahead and make this L look like our other L, my apologies. Our large photos is going to have to equal the number of small plus medium photos. Okay, now we need one more equation, and as we continue, it says she also sells hmm, twice as many small photos as large. Now this is the one phrase that I am truly concerned. So we're going to take some time to really break it down. Twice as many small photos as large photos. Twice as many small photos as large photos. So here would be my question. Are there more small photos or are there more large photos? Well if there are twice as many small photos hey we know that there got to be more small photos so if that's the case that means if you're gonna multiply one of these numbers by two you have to multiply the smaller number by two or another way to say this is that our small photos will equal two times the large photos that is the one place that I think I'm concerned for you guys so always really try to reason it out ask yourself are there more of this one thing and what do we have to multiply by so that there are more of that one thing. Okay, pause this, finish taking any notes, and let's move on to our second example. Okay, in example two, a movie theater is filled to capacity of 280. Guys, I really like this phrase, capacity. Capacity means the max number. Okay, so we know at some point we're going to have to have 280 somethings. Let's continue. The theater charges 250 for children. Now, I want to ask you, it says the movie theater is filled to a capacity of 280. Well, 280 what? Well, we could say 280 people. And I hope you would understand that people is different than dollars. So an entirely different line, we're going to start 250 and of course, let's just use C for children, plus 650 for adults, okay, so, I'm sorry, for students, so we're going to write 650 S for students, plus $10 for adults. Hey, we can write 10A is equal to. Now notice we have dollars, dollars, dollars. So let your eyes scan, can you find another dollar amount? And hopefully, you saw this 2015. Okay, so there's our second equation. And wait a second, here we actually have our first equation. Notice we have children 
students and adults? Well, it's going to be some number of children plus some number of students plus some number of adults that will in fact give us 280. Lastly, there's always going to be some sort of ratio statement. So it says this, there are one third as many children as there are students. I'll say it one more time. There are one third as many children as there are students. So this begs the question, where does the one third go? Let's see, there's one third as many children. So in this case, what I would say is children are the smaller amount. So we're saying, you know, children represent the one third of the students. And so that's how we're going to determine this. Children represent the one third of the students. Okay, I hope this helps. Good luck on your next three examples, and I'll see you all in our next video.